Are you new to Precure? Cool. Do you not know where to begin watching Precure? Do you even know what Precure is? And are you wondering, should I watch Glitter Force or not? Today, I will be answering those questions for you. So I've been watching Precure for pretty much probably about five years now. I've been in the Precure Phantom for roughly five years and as someone who started out not knowing anything about the series, I felt like I was super behind and I still, five years later, feel like I am super behind compared to a lot of my friends and mutuals who watch and also talk about Precure because I just didn't know how to go about the series. There is just so much Precure content that it's overwhelming and I did not know where to start. I didn't know what it was, but I really liked it. I wanted to get into it, but I couldn't figure out how. Today, I wanna give you guys a few of my little tips bits from me and also a few videos from other content creators that I found super helpful for a starter as a Precure watcher because like I said I had no idea what I was doing and where I was supposed to go to watch the show so first of all let's talk about what is Precure. So Precure is actually a Japanese anime slash magical girl metaverse magical girl show. Yeah I said magical girl twice deal with it. It's super magical. Unbelievably magical. <laughs> so basically, so far, there have been 20 seasons and just about roughly 20 movies. Like, just about every season, once it finishes, gets a movie. Just about, not always, but it is a huge franchise. You have movies, you have 20 seasons, 20 years worth of Precure. You have merch such as wands, dolls, figures, and you even have costumes. It is such a huge range of diverse merch that comes from the show alone. Like I said, Precure is one of those shows where it comes back every single year with new characters and new themes and new villains and just an overall new show. Yes, it is the same thing, but every year is different and it's always something to look forward. Like since I have started taking more of a leap into the magical com girl community on YouTube especially, it has been so cool seeing how everyone is like predicting what's gonna happen for the next year. Like, people People are literally right now it is October 2023 and people are already starting to predict for Precure 2024 it is insane and I love it there's so much hype around this fandom there's just so much hype in general so Precure is definitely one of the in my opinion best fandoms to get into because if you want to be on your guard all the time this is a good one there's always something new and excited coming in this fandom so now that you know what Precure is, let's talk about where we can watch Precure. Cause this one was really hard for me and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's still really hard for me. So Precure, especially in where I am, America, and I know other people such as Canada and other places around the world that isn't Japan, does not have Precure the way that it is in Japan. In Japan, it's more of like, you know, a typical broadcast because you do have to understand this is an anime for children. So there is a broadcast, but here, in America where I am, we kind of have to do some um, not so fun things to watch this show. So first of all, let's kind of get some of the good stuff out of the way and then we'll get to the more like sketchy, dodgy places to watch Precure because you gotta do what you gotta do to consume Magic Girl stuff in this day and age. So first of all, you can watch some Precure series on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is an actual like paid prescription. Think of it like Netflix almost for anime. You can watch all kinds of anime there and you can in fact watch Futaiwa Precure, the first Precure season on Crunchyroll. Hi, hello. Actually, Editor M here to tell you that I was kind of wrong. Yes, you can watch the first season of Precure, but you can also watch Tropical Rouge, you can watch Otana Precure, which is the new adult series, and you can watch Healing Good, and you can also watch Soaring Sky Precure. So there are a few series that you can watch, but it's only a few, so yeah. Yes, you do have to pay for a membership. I think you can start every trial, but um, there's like roughly, roughly 50 episodes of Precure. So if you're like a really good binge watcher, good luck. If not, you probably want to pay to watch it. But I honestly would not pay for a Crunchyroll subscription just for one show. If you watch a lot of your anime on Crunchyroll, then maybe I would get it and watch Precure there. But there are other ways to watch Precure. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here because I know people will have questions because personally, this is how I got into Precure. So I want to actually talk about it and, you know, mention it because some people enjoy it. I 
do not, but I want to mention it. You can in fact watch Glitter Force, both Doki Doki and just Glitter Force on Netflix. So if you're wondering what the heck is a Glitter Force, it is basically the Americanized dub of two seasons of Precure, which is Smile Precure, which is Glitter Force, and Doki Doki Precure, which is Doki Doki Glitter Force. Do I suggest watching these? Personally, I would say it depends. I wouldn't say yes or no. I would say it depends. Is it kind of the same story? Yes, but they do change a lot of stuff about the characters. They change their names. They change everything about the Japanese culture to Americanize it over here. There's a lot of scenes where they have cut out things such as festivals, with characters wearing kimonos, and even changing the names of Japanese foods into some kind of like a weird American like rice cake that's balled up instead of saying like onigiri or like rice ball. So is it the best thing ever? <laughs> no. But it's there if you want to watch it and as someone, you know, I like Precure. I really like Precure. As someone who really does like the show, I honestly went back and rewatched those two series because that's what got me into Precure. I had no idea what Precure even was because I saw this show on Netflix and I was like, oh my god, Magical Girls, love that. They look super cute. This looks really good. I'm gonna watch it and I'm not gonna lie. I fell in love with Glitter Force because I didn't know it was Precure. I didn't even know what Precure was. I've heard about it before, but I never really got into it until I watched Glitter Force and realized, oh, that's the thing that people keep calling Precure. Okay, would I necessarily recommend it? I don't know. It is there, so I'm gonna throw it there for you. If you wanna watch it, it's there. It is on Netflix, but you can only really watch it in the dub. There is no Precure, no sub over there. It is going to be the dubbed version only so watch at your own risk or not so next it gets a little bit dodgy and i'm not gonna lie precure is one of those anime series that it, it's kind of dodgy it's kind of hard to watch at times because it's not licensed <laughs> necessarily to be broadcast outside of japan for you know us to consume so sometimes you gotta go on like some like dodgy websites like for example I use kiss anime go go anime just a few that I like use most of the time to like watch precure you kind of gotta go there and sometimes you have to rely on fan subs people who speak Japanese and they can convert it into English because precure is not officially subbed not all of it, some of it, I think some of it might be, but not all of it is, and so sometimes you kinda gotta like go with some dodgy apps, and you kinda gotta click the Jessica six miles away wants to see you tonight. You gotta click those ads, um, and just like yeet them out from your screen so you can watch your little friendship magical girls like woo! So is it a little dodgy? Yes, but it's for a good cause, I guess. And the last thing that I do want to mention is Precure is one of those like really long series. It's like I mentioned before, 20 seasons plus movies. It is very overwhelming for a new Precure fan, someone who's just starting. Maybe you who are watching this right now don't know what Precure is and wants to get into it, but you don't know where to start and you don't know which season to watch. Can you go out of order? Is there an order? One. There is an order, but you do not have to watch it. You absolutely do not. I have not watched it in order. I would say pick whichever season that you feel is the best for you, whether that be based on theme or based on a character that you think you like the best. Pick whichever one you want. It's kind of the same, but I would highly suggest watching a couple of seasons before you start any movies or else you're gonna get a little bit lost and you're gonna be like, who are these people? I don't know who they are. Oh my God, I feel like I know you, but I don't quite know you, but you look really familiar are you from the season before or after or like really far back or really far forward I don't know so just just hold off on the movies for a little bit is my advice I also want to leave you with a video that I found so super helpful which is from Pixie Lux this is Pixie Lux's video talking about Precure series and I think this is one of the best Precure videos that I have literally ever seen because they go over and they talk about each season as a huge Precure lover themselves I really love this video that they put together because they talk about the seasons individually they tell you which seasons they like the most which seasons they're, they're 
you know, they're not bad, but like, they're not the highest, you know, the best ranking series. But by watching this video, maybe you can kind of like see, okay, I liked what they talked about about this season. They gave this one a really high rating, so maybe I'll go watch that one. That's what I want you guys to kind of take away from this video. So go check out Pixie Lux's video over here, and it will also be down below in my description. So please check them out and give them some love. Not gonna lie, Pixie definitely got me into pre-care. Like, I remember watching their videos and hearing like, pre-care, pre-care, I'm like, what is a pre-care? <laughs> and then I watched Glitter Forest and I was like, that's a pre-care, oh my god. And by the way, to leave off with my suggestion, I am a very huge fan, if you can't tell, of Star Twinkle Precure and Hugtail Precure. Those are my two favorite seasons, and if I had to suggest one, I would definitely say Star Twinkle if you guys are into like space constellations, stars, aliens, and stuff. It is so good. The cast of characters is one of my favorite cast, by the way, in Star Twinkle. I think all of the cures are just amazing and they work so well with each other. So if I had to give you guys a season recommendation, it would definitely be Star Twinkle and then maybe Hucto. So let me know down below where should you guys watch Precure? I feel like it's so hard to get a good website because sometimes they don't have the season that you want or sometimes the picture quality is a little wacky so I find that you kind of have to go back and forth between a couple to find what works for you. So let me know down below where do you guys watch your seasons of Precure? Make sure you like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!